I was there. Have, I finally, there, so. a game for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. I am excited. And I did see in the chat that, uh, or at least Armadillo saying like, wow, you're using the Wi-Fi Ness against me. All right. I respect Shaking that. Shaking my head. I mean, I know Z, I know Z has a Ness in the back. I know, I, I know he's got this, but... Uh... Let's see, game one and uh, another uh, Pokemon Stadium one pick, uh, Pokemon Stadium two pick, as uh, we've seen very often today. Yeah, sorry, Alton, this is a best of five, obviously, so we're gonna see a bit of a while, and going against a best of five against Lucario has to be one of the most stressful things in the world. <laughs> You're gonna be playing I... perfect, like, legitimately the entire time <laughs> for five games straight, potentially. Because the thing with Lucario is you kind of let your guard down where he has no aura and happened. then you realize, oh snap, he built it so quickly and now I'm in trouble. So you, you keeping your guard up the whole time, it's a mentally exhausting set sometimes to play. Um, Absolutely. Cool. And the same kind of deal by the, the polar opposite is like facing a Sonic for five games is definitely tearing, but it's in a different way. Like you have to play patiently the entire time, this time you have to play safe the entire time. Back onto the stage. Yep, gets the back air, of course, a big heavy hitting of Lucario. So she got now we got the scary moment right now because Aura is already built up and got a full stock behind. Two hits right away at 33%, and it's climbing. So we we're talking about the importance of that first stock, and look how much Armadillo is getting some mileage uh, from uh, getting his first stock. Armadillo has definitely come into his own recently. You can definitely see, oh, it misses that. I like the idea. The yo yo is very hard to challenge. I get that. But yeah, Armadillo has been making some big strides lately, like, uh, he actually went into the big tournament and got very high placement in it, and actually got him the, his name out there. He got like a, like a million, subscri uh, million followers on Twitter out of nowhere because of it. Z getting a lot of percent off his PK fire and actually giving him a lead. Um, it's something where if you play grounded and you're not pulling out your shield too much, uh, the other player, the Ness player will call you out for it. Absolutely. But to be able to bring it back, the thing about uh, Ness is that he does have early kill options, so that's what you want, obviously, against Lucario, but not quite going to take out the Aura Sphere, but I like the read, obviously. We see this is so scary, but you got to remember, the Reflector doesn't matter because you lose the stock anyways, but obviously that is something that he can go for there and get a ton of HP back, but it doesn't mean much if he can't get back on stage with it. No, exactly, and uh, I think being a bit more mobile in the air will help... Uh... Armadillo not get caught by those uh, grounded options that Z has been favoring so far. Let me see Lucario just doing these little bounces here. Back throw. He's getting all these pummels in the world. I, I'm not sure if maybe he just accepted he was going to die and didn't mash at all, but he got quite a few pummels on that one. Obviously, the next back throw going to do it no matter where it happens from. Yeah, it, it, it seems silly, but people often forget oh. to get free pummel damage. <gasps> Yo! That was true. It. I was going to say, like, he's going to get those two jab jabs, but maybe he's going to look for a roll back. But no, that was just straight up true. Down smash is all he needed, killing at 74%. I mean, damn, we just saw that coming from, uh, and, and you know, it felt like this game was going to go last stock, last hit. And then Armadillo just pulled away with that setup right there. Excellent work on his part, making the most of his aura. And um, if I know Z, or the way I know Z, I think we're going to see a counter pick here. Absolutely. But. Every time that he plays a character at the beginning that you think is like, oh, well, why is he playing this? He always plays game one just to not really mess with his opponent, but like he gets some knowledge. He's like, okay, how do you react to this? Okay, I'm going to play this character now. So definitely he's not going to take advantage. I'm surprised he even wants to play games against Armadillo in the first place. Obviously yeah. a really tough competitor already, and as I mentioned last time, he did beat him. So maybe I'll take a bit more serious. Actually, he does not look like he's taking it seriously, as he's actually opting for Rob. <laughs> Wow, I mean, this is Wi-Fi and the peak Wi-Fi for Z right here, picking a bunch of his characters, but I know for a fact that he... I'm not surprised that he wants to try this. I think he saw some opportunities where he could maybe get some free projectile damage in as Rob. Uh, so, I mean, I'm, I'm half surprised by this guy. But we'll see how this works out for him. Um, maybe he's going off a hunch, too, that Armadillo might not be the biggest fan of this match. Well, we do know that uh, Rob can kill pretty damn early, so that's always a benefit. But he is a big body, and that was, is what kind of scares me in this matchup. He's basically juggle tool for, as you see already, 49%. Wow. Turn the screen dark. Thing else, and even with that uh, aura, I mean, Rob is still a very heavy body with a fantastic recovery. But like I said, Z is very uncharacteristic of him. It's like 
You could say he has a raw, but theoretically he has like he has an every character. <laughs> yeah, no, he has a smash ultimate. Yes. Yeah, so exactly, he plays the entire cast. But oh, nice! The gyro actually takes out the fully aurad uh, aura sphere, so that's fun. Because Rob can really play the the chip damage on a longer range, so you don't have to commit too close to Lucario where he's in his. Uh, his threat area where he can use his aura to kill you. Yeah, well, we got the up uh, smash and he killed with that. that. That is a very strong tool. And again, taking that stock off and can set, resetting Lucario's aura. He does get a bit extra when he's a stock below, but clearly not as terrifying when he has that percentage. Oh, nice catch. Okay, maybe this, this, this not the Rob, but the Zob is actually putting in some work right now. The, Z, the big ZOB right here putting in the work. And I think we have a great observation from chat. The Diddy mains are normally really good at Rob. That makes sense. They kind of play the same kind of archetype, but like one's small and quick, and the other one's kind of uh, slow and big. But whatever you need to fulfill that niche. Oh, nice little pickup right there. And we've seen like a lot of comments. Definitely check this man out on Twitter. Uh, it must be Armadillo something. Uh, he's posting all these clips, and he makes Lucario look absolutely broken. And what I love about that is that most character, most people when they play the character, they're just like, "Yeah, my character's bad. He sucks. He loses this matchup." No, he is such a big advocate, saying that Lucario is amazing, and he just shows how broken he is all the time. He's one of the least carried people. <laughs> oh, that's playing what's so there you go. And Byleth, and there you go. He's popping off right here. Taking that's one for the Twitter right two. there. Yep. And Z punching right back uh, his own. Right here. We'll see if uh, this is going to last stock. This is going to be really close. Well, this is the last stock so far, and this is always like. It's really a point flip at this point. Obviously, the skill is there, but it's like, who gets that stock first? Honestly, it's between this Lucario, it's really tough. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, although I've seen the... Uh, we're seeing Z's Rob just put in a lot of mileage. He's getting so much chip damage from distance, and it, uh, it puts him in a really good position. And he's also been using the gyros to block the aura spheres very efficiently. Oh, we got the re right there with the uh, extreme speed onto stage. This is where it gets scary. Actually, that's the thing about gyro. It's so hard to counter that. If you're not aware of it, even just staying on ledge isn't safe, as it will connect eventually. I don't even know what to say to do it again, so I just feel like it covers so many options. And you see Z playing patiently. Like, he's making sure that this Lucario does not get in. Because I always say he's at prime position, even if he's at a high percentage right now. This is kill percent. <laughs> the higher he puts Lucario, the more he puts himself at kill percent right now. No, exactly. This is uh, gonna come down to the wire, and we're seeing. Uh, there you go. There. Good stuff there, covering it. Z had been playing the corners of the stage a lot to get the free projectile damage, and this time he tried to land in the middle, and Armadillo was having none of it. He was like, I'm keeping the middle of the stage. You've been giving it to me this whole time. Seriously, so, I was actually surprised the up air kill. It's not one of his potent kill moves, especially against a Rob. I was surprised that it actually took off the top move that amount of rage. It just seems like everything's a kill move. I wouldn't be surprised if Jab killed from like center stage, you know? Yeah, no, it's, uh, at one point the aura builds up so much, and I mean, uh, he did uh, double jump very high, uh, closer to the blast zone, so it did feel like uh, it was appropriate for that up air to kill right there. Um, I think at this point, this is where we see Diddy or Palu uh, from Z, uh, two games behind in the set. I think he's going to go to something that he's more uh, well-versed in. Uh, yeah. Not that his Rob, his Rob was doing not too shabby. It almost gave him a W, which was really good. Um, but I think um, his best characters would either be Mewtwo, Palu, or Diddy. It's going to be one of those three coming out, uh, I believe. But uh, uh, Sadly, you know all, your, all your analysis was completely wrong. As he sticks with the Rob, I guess he found something in there. Wow! Surprise, he he's on game point yeah. right now. I mean, he found he might have found something in there, or he might have just been listening to me and he wants to spite me. And, uh, <laughs> I think, no, I really think you're right. He found something in the Rob game that he wants to keep pushing on. Um, and, and, and I think this, is, this might be the right call here, we'll see. Well, like I was saying, the way he was playing on that last stock, I absolutely agree exactly with what he was doing. He was staying at the ledge, making sure that he could not get in. Like, Lucario definitely can kill you if he gets in, but he has to get in. Sure, he has Aura Sphere to bring on it, but it doesn't matter. We saw the Gyro eat it up so many times that he has to find a way to approach. And when you take that into a factor, his limbs are not the biggest. That's I love it. that idea. And he uses the Whoa. wall jumps. What Yo, a amazing this man's recovery. awareness right now. Oh, my lord. Um, yeah, I thought he was dead. I could imagine right any here. other player. That was insane. Was. That was it insane. You gotta pop off to Damn. a recovery, but sometimes you gotta appreciate. 
No, you know, because we keep hyping up the big combos and kills, but we gotta hype up those uh, disadvantage states sometimes. Man. Absolutely. Sometimes you guys imagine this guy, this kid, Armadillo, is the total package. The unsung hero of Snatch right here. So, oh, Z take, trying to take an early swing at that down smash, gonna get punished for it. Absolutely. I just wanted to give a shout out. Next match is going to be Smock. So if you're listening to this, Let's smock meat. Let's go. I need Smock and Pacha on next. Just let me know. I'm gonna make a room after, but just be aware. <laughs> be ready. Have that armadillo awareness. <laughs> yeah, have that recovery. <laughs> oh, actually gets clipped, a good idea, but still, with that amount of rage up, you can take him across the entire stage. And now this is where it gets really scary for Z, especially when he's a stock down on 150%. There's That's the up air again. Two stocks down now. Oof. Like, you look at this, every situation here, being that stock below, finally gets it up, but being that stock below, Bukhari 150% and three stocks, and you're two games down. Like, it does not get scarier than that. But Z, I still can think bring it back because he's been in these kind of situations before. Oh yeah, this is a, this is an experienced player has been through a lot of sets and uh, can't count him out until his all his stocks are down. So That's we'll why see there's, a lot of, there's a lot of games where I'll look at it and I'll be like, okay, well it's over, like so and so won, so and so lost. Remember it's Z, I'm like, I don't care if he's two stocks behind, I'm like, no. I know Z will do something, so I'm not counting him out just yet, but as Lucario grows in aura, not gonna make it too hard to kill. That, that was the steepest angle for that back air. I thought oh, it was gonna be it. Lord. Yeah, I got spooked myself right there. there was some jitters in my chair. Let's see. Again, the gyro is like actually an excellent thing in this matchup. I don't know how this matchup goes, but just the gyro alone seems to shoot down any potential Lucario trying to camp with Aura Spheres. Oh yeah, for sure. You're, it kind of forces Lucario to to jump if he wants to get an Aura Sphere hit. Uh, putting him in a bit, bit of a more vulnerable situation. Uh, so just as like we said, their last stock situation, so maybe Z is cooking. Like I said, Z's a character that thrives in these best of five setups because the more you play him, the more he adapts and gets better. So if he can pull this back, he might even just win the set, honestly. Yeah, he's he's adapted really well in this last stock. Like, I think now he's realized, like, oh, I'm getting some nice juggles from my up tilt up air setup. Uh, I'm going to keep pushing for that. And uh, it, it, it actually brought, it brings him to a percent lead here that, uh, it, it's that same situation from game two again that's very scary. The more percent you give to Lucario, the more danger you're putting yourself in. And you actually saw Armadillo is actually slowing the pace down a bit actually. Oh, is that actually it? That move is yeah, ridiculous! Are you kidding me? Yo! That wasn't that even close to delivering. He was obliterated from it. Wow, yep, that was, uh, absolute destruction right there from uh, the 